Hey guys, is it better to buy SAS drives, combine them with SSDs, HBA controllers such as this one in my hand here, or is it just much better to buy a cheapo low capacity NVMe drive and then use that in your chassis for your plotting needs? This is what we are going to address in today's video. But first, just a quick word from today's sponsor. Surf the web with your online identity protected and stay private at all times while being able to access geo-restricted content. Make use of real-time alerts when your email and passwords are at risk of being hacked while removing ads, trackers, malware and phishing attempts all along the way. And all of this under one simple account for all of your devices. Be sure to check the link below for an 80% off using the link in the video description. So for today's video, I will be using the 415K SAS drives that I have been using in previous videos. The link you can find up here in the video description. And I'll be pairing them together with this HBA controller from HP and as well together with two SSDs from Kingston to see exactly what sort of performance we can get out of the setup. And is it in any way, shape or form comparable to a single NVMe drive running all by itself. We will go over the performance of each one of these configurations and see exactly how easily or how difficult it might be to install all of these components into your chassis depending on the type of setup that you are using. So do keep in mind that you can find lots of options nowadays for NVMe drives running lower capacities and from brands that are not so reputable as Samsung let's say. And uh, maybe overall it's better to just use a simple NVMe drive in your machine and uh, start using that for your plotting needs instead of going through all the hassle of installing so many components into your chassis. As you can see, installing all of these components into a single chassis can be quite a daunting task depending on the setup that you have in comparison to just installing a simple NVMe drive that you can use and uh, benefit uh, from its performance into your uh, plotting needs. So for today's video, I will be running the Mad Maxi Dual Plotter GUI, which is running the 1.1.3 revision at the moment of shooting the video, which is the latest one. And it is combined with the Chia Plotter Executable, which is running the version 0.1.5. What you will always want to do, you will always want to check to see uh, and download the latest available version for you as there are improvements in the algorithm and then uh, as well there might be new features added in by the developers. So guys, as you can see, this is the Mad Maxi Dual Plotter uh, GUI that I'm using right here. And if you're unsure on how to use it and how to set it up correctly, I do have a video where I explain everything step by step that I will leave down in the video description. So before you go on, I would highly recommend that you watch that video first and then you can continue with this one. So for the overall uh, configuration of the software here, as you can see, I am running the AMD Ryzen 3900X, which is a 12 core and a 24 thread CPU. And I am allocating all the available 24 threads to this process. The bucket phase uh, one and phase three sizes, this can vary a lot. Uh, as I have found in my testing, this is the most optimal um, that bucket size for my uh, setup right here. But you can uh, try uh, different variations of the bucket size for yourself and see exactly what gives you the best results. Uh, I am going to do just one plot count as I am just trying to see how fast it will do one plot uh, from one configuration to another. And as for temp1 directory, I am using the SSDs that are rated in RAID 0 configurations. These are two Kingston 480 gigabytes drive capacities uh, rated together. And as for temp2, I am using the four 15K RPM SAS drives running with an HBA controller that I have uh, rated together as a simple RAID as a temporary to uh, directory. For the final directory, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it is just a regular HDD that is connected to the machine and we're not very interested in seeing how long it takes to copy the overall files to it. So this being said, I'll just make a quick time lapse of this video and then we'll see you guys at the end of this one and see exactly how long it takes to uh, plot a single plot with this configuration. So this is the result that you come up with if you're planning to use four 15K SAS drives, which are the higher capacity RPM SAS drives out there, and further combining this with an HBA controller that further has to be combined with two SSDs that are rated in RAID 0, and you only get a plotting time of around two hours or just uh, over two hours. If you have different settings in mind, don't forget to hit us up with your thoughts and comments down in the box below so that we can see and then apply it, test it and make a video of it in the upcoming weeks. If you like this sort of content guys, a like to the video would be fantastic and we would greatly appreciate it. So with this out of the way, let's move over and see what sort of performance an NVMe drive can offer you guys.
I will be using the Samsung 980 Pro here, the two terabytes capacity, because I want to see exactly what sort of peak performance you can obtain out of uh, high value NVMEs. So the plotting process is the same as before, it's just that the temporary one and temporary two directory now reflect both of them, the Samsung NVMe drive that uh, I've mentioned before. So let's get to, to a quick time lapse of the whole process and see you guys at the end. So guys, as you can see, the results speak for themselves. Uh, instead of the 138 minutes as before, we're now just under 55 minutes, um, which is a great improvement. It's more than 50% improvement on our times because uh, just before we had a little bit over two hours, now we're just sitting below one hour, uh, which is the total time to create one plot with this NVMe drive. Now, I'm sure that you can uh, work your buckets around and uh, maybe uh, even adjust the P2 multiplier to get better results, but this depends on the configuration that you're currently running. So if you do have better settings in mind, once again, guys, please leave your thoughts and comments down in the box below so that we can see and maybe apply these settings in future videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was Alex from Tech Fusion. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like and as well, consider subscribing to the channel for more related content just like this. And as well, we will be addressing topics such as uh, Chia mining versus GPU mining to see which is the most profitable route to take for you starting with 2021. Thank you guys very much for watching and see you in the next one.